I'm amazed when some of my buddies come into my house for deer season and they don't know how to sharpen knives and they ask, hey Jeff, how do you sharpen a knife? I can't believe they don't know how, but maybe it's because I'm one of those weirdos who actually loves to sharpen knives. Now, I'm not a canned onion or a hibachi chef, although I have been, damn it. Now, I'm not a canned onion or a hibachi chef, but I have been to a Benihata's once, even though I didn't pay. But I have developed my own little system or technique for sharpening knives, and I'm gonna run you through it real quick. And if you know how to sharpen knives, you're not gonna like this video. So just really quickly, the basics of sharpening knives. The rougher your knife is, if it's duller than hell and you can't cut anything with it, you need to start with a coarse sharpener. That would be the opposite of something like this Arkansas whetstone that's just for finishing blades, putting those last little finishing touches on it. You need something more like this really heavier, heavier grit that can really move metal and get that blade shaped and then you can hone it and polish it. Also, think about angles when you're sharpening a blade. So if I use this Arkansas whetstone for an example, this is the angle of the edge you'll put on it. The steeper the angle, the less sharp it'll be, the less razor blade-like the blade will be, but the more durable it will be, meaning it'll stay sharp longer. So the general rule of thumb is, for you know, like outdoor knives or um, you know blades that you want a, a really coarse, you want a durable blade. Maybe even a hatchet blade would be something like 35 degrees. Um, most hunting knives, you know, people say to put maybe a 25 degree blade on it. But I like my knives really sharp, and again, I, I like to sharpen knives, so I usually go for a sharper and a and a lower angle, like a 20 degree angle. Now. 1517 is like razor blade, and when you get to that angle, they'll shave hair, they're super sharp, and some people like that, that really razor blade feel for skinning blades, but the downside is if you hit bone or anything, it will dull the blade so quickly, so that's why you, you always have to touch up you know, a razor blade. For something that I have on a backpack that I don't wanna sharpen all the time, this is a really thick, heavy, this is a surefire knife, it's a thick, heavy blade where this is on my camping pack that I'm not gonna sharpen all the time. I might use this for prying or anything. You know, I want probably a 30 degree angle on there, but for most of my knives, even my pocket knives, I like about a 20 degree angle because I like being able to shave hair with this baby. And so I'm gonna show you how to start from a relatively dull blade and get to a razor blade. And we'll test the blade in the end to make sure it is a razor blade. So out of all these stones, this is a, a pretty good diamond um, honer that's multi-purpose. You can, you can move metal, but you can also hone with it. I even like my butcher knives sharper than most people. I'm gonna be able to run somebody through. But in general, while there are tools like Langsky makes a sharpener that helps you try to get the angle, it's all very tough to do. It really comes from feel and that's from practice. So let me run you through a couple of uh, sharpening um, products and techniques that I like. So if you just want to get your blade workably sharp and don't have a little time, it is tough to be something like this. There are two carbide pieces of steel in there that are already set up at an angle. And I can tell that this is not gonna make a razor blade, but then again, it's gonna get a good edge. If you don't have a lot of time, you're hunting or whatever, and just need to put an edge, you simply do that and it's really easy and you'll have a decent workable edge. But how fun is that? Not very. There are many products out there, like I said, from this whetstone that you can really spend a lot of time getting your knives perfect. But I think a great product that does it all, it guides you, it also stores, is this WorkSharp tool by Ken Onion. Great dude, a knife maker. So this thing, you can pick your angle, goes from 17 and a half to 25. I usually put it on 20. That's the angle. And now when you choose three different varieties of grit, um, you know, start out if you're really, really something dull and you need to move metal, you start out with that coarse grit, then you move to the medium grit. For most knives that are relatively sharp, you just need to sharpen them up, start with the medium grit. Now this angle only works 
The sharpening stone here is the angle. So the idea then is to run the knife, the blades straight down and that will be that angle. So two things you need to remember for knife sharpening. One, the more pressure you put in the coarser of the grit, the more you're gonna move metal. And so as the knife gets sharper and sharper, you wanna do two things, go to a finer grit and apply less pressure on the knife. Then there's a, a final touch that we'll, we'll put on it. With my everyday, this uh, SOG Twitch XL, love this knife, it's got a really modified drop point, really sharp point. I've skinned so many deer and pigs this is my dual knife, but I like it sharp. I'm, I'm first going to try to move some, some metal and create the basic edge. So I'm gonna take the same number of strokes on each side of the knife, six. And you can feel where the blade's hanging up a little bit. That means I need to move more metal. And if I can feel a part of the blade that is duller, I'll spend a little time, I can even do some circular patterns, keeping the blade at a relatively the same angle. And I'm gonna try to do the same thing on this, really focusing where I can feel that it's dull. When that thing gets smooth running and it doesn't hang up, so I'm gonna apply less pressure and less pressure, then I'm gonna switch to this ceramic, which is a really smooth, stone that this is this polishes it and finishes it and I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna keep applying less pressure and less pressure what you're doing you're creating a an edge and one side will fold over on wh what's called the burr of a knife and you look at it under a microscope you can actually see a little burr of metal and at the end when you think you've got it sharp and that feels pretty darn sharp you easy ladies you take off your belt or a strop and this is gonna remove that burr that's what they do at barber shops with the razor blades and so that just really finishes that knife and you know you have a sharp knife if you can shave hair and that knife is right getting close but it's not perfect so I'm gonna go a couple more times really light strokes because I know that it's close. They get lighter and lighter on the strokes. And that's how you sharpen a knife. what not to do kids. I'm JJ and that's no BS.